This is Marlene Byrne with the League of Women Voters of Portland, and you are watching Video Voters Guide, and we are in the studios of Metro East to talk with the candidates in, who are running for the November 2018 general election. <clears throat> we have invited all candidates for, who file for this race, and there are many reasons during the busy campaign seasons why candidates accepting are being able or unable to be with me today. With me is Heather Hicks, running for state representative of the 49th district, who was able to accept today. We are sorry the other candidates in this race, Justin Huang and Chris Gorshik, have been unable to accept our invitation. We urge voters to assist the League of Voters website and to use the League's Votes 411 or .org site for comprehensive coverage where candidates may also choose to include more information, some including their own YouTube videos. Question now. Okay, you're running for state representative in the 49th. And could you tell me what is your top priority and how will you accomplish it? I really feel like homelessness is the biggest issue really facing East County, whether it's home insecurity uh, for people that the rents are rising or it's people who have already been displaced and are either coming here from Portland or have been displaced in Gresham already. Um, so that's my, my big thing that I really want to tackle if I get into the house. So. Okay. <laughs> and what steps will you take to ensure more Oregonians are qualified and hired for Oregon jobs? That is a good question. I think uh, tackling the issue of dropout rates is a great way to start that process. <laughs> and I know, um, you know, a lot of people in government are already trying to figure out ways to handle that. For me personally, I really feel like uh, involving more community members, especially senior community members, in mentorship programs in schools so that students who maybe don't have access to mentoring from parents at home uh, would have access to people that could help them along the stages of life and understanding like why a college education is important or why a trade school is important, um, combined with exposing students more often to what those look like, like having more career fairs, starting younger, things like that. Um, I think that all of that would help to kind of help students understand the longevity of school, not just the day-to-day -day slugging through. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, how can uh, the legislature provide stable, adequate, long-term funding for public education? Well, <laughs> um, I think part of the problem with education funding currently is we're diverting a lot of those resources to other things like PERS um, that really need help, yes, but is education funding where we want to make cuts to provide for other things? And I would argue I don't think education is the place for that. I think education should be a top priority in any state, honestly. Um, but especially where we do have such a high dropout rate right now and we're trying to figure out how to fix that, the answer is definitely not diverting spending from there to other places. So. I would like to see our education budget being used towards education and then have a discussion after that's actually happening if it needs increased or not. So, <laughs> Well, Heather, um, I want to thank you for coming and being with us today. And this has been a Video Voter's Guide. Thank you for watching. And the general election is Tuesday, November 6th. And please, please be sure you are informed about the candidates and ballot measures and exercise your right to vote. Thank you.